you, my friends. This uh, video is presenting eight old exams questions related to quadratic functions, which is algebra course lecture 34. Let's start directly. Question number one, given the quadratic function f of x minus x squared minus 10x minus 24, find all this, a, b, c, d, e, f, g. First, you have to find the vertex. We know there is a formula or you can use completing the square. Then you have to find, write the function in standard form. And then we, we go from there. So h will be minus b over 2a. This is already arranged. So minus, minus b over 2a minus 5. We need k. k is the image, f of minus 5. So I replace minus 5 here in the function, you see? Minus 5 squared, minus 5 you will get one. So the vertex will be minus five and one. Now the standard form, there is a formula, as you know, f of x will be a, so a is the same, minus one, x minus h squared plus k. That's the standard. Now we can graph it, this is a parabola reflected in the x-axis, shifted to the left five units and one unit up. So it will be like this. Now the range will be from minus infinity until one, that's the K. Increasing, here increasing from minus infinity until minus five. Above the X from minus six to minus four. From where I get minus six to minus four? From the X intercept. See for X intercept use standard. Put X intercept Y zero there. So X plus five squared is equal one. So X will be minus six or minus four. There are many parts here, but, but so simple. For y-intercept, use the general form here. Put x equals zero there. So y will be minus 24. It's not shown in the graph, but if you go down, 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 down in the graph, it will be cutting the uh, y-axis at minus 24. The axis, x equals h, that's the axis. Axis of parabola will be x equals h. Now this one is easy also. Find the number of x-intercepts and find the x-intercepts if there is any. So there are two functions here, two questions, one and two. Each one we have to answer two parts. So the first one, to find x-intercept, let y zero. See this one here, to check the number of x-intercept, we find discriminant. Remember discriminant is b squared minus four, you see, in this case it's zero. So the zero means one x-intercept, only one. And then you can use the quadratic formula to find it. And it will be like this. The graph is tangent to the x-axis at five. So one x-intercept there. Second one, f of x is equal x squared plus four x plus five. To find x-intercept, let y zero. Let's find the discriminant, minus four. b squared minus four ac, 16 minus 20. So no x-intercept. See, the graph is above. Why the graph is above? Sometimes it's below because A is positive. You see A here, A is one. So A positive, the, the parabola opens upward and there is no x-intercept. So it means all the graph is above the x. If A is negative here, the graph is below the x and it's also reflected. Now, this is a nice question, I think. Find the interval or intervals where the graph of this function which is a parabola, is below the x. See, this is already arranged. That's A, and that's B, and that's C. Now, we have some radicals here, no problem. Just bear with me. So, this is already arranged. So, the A minus square root of 2 over 2, B is 2, C is square root of 2. Let's find H. So, minus B, so this is minus B over 2A. So it becomes two over square root of two. When you rationalize it, multiply up and down by square root of two. So the answer will be square root of two. So to find k, k will be f of h, f of square root of two. So I take square root of two and replace it in the function. See easily here, I put all the details, minus square root of two over two, square root of two squared plus two, square root of two is the h, and then plus square root of two. So when you add this one is two canceled, 
and this one you can add, so it will be two square root of two. That's the vertex now, H and K. Now let's find X intercept, use the standard form. All right. So this is the standard form. Oh, standard form, by the way, f of x is equal a x minus h squared plus k. So you put a here, minus square root of 2 over 2, x minus h. This is h here. You see, I put h here. k is there, plus 2 square root of 2. To find x intercept, let y 0 here. This is the y. And now you have to work with this equation. See, so take this on the other side, multiply by 2, divide by square root of 2, you get 4. Take the square root of both sides. Just do it easily. You will get x equals square root of 2 plus or minus 2. So, so the graph will be like this because it's opening down. Why? Because we have a minus a. You see? So the x-intercept now, the positive 1, 2 plus square root of 2 and minus 2 plus square root of 2. This is a negative here. Where the graph is below the x, here below, and here below. Below the x, it means under the x. From minus infinity until this x intercept, union this number until infinity. Now, same idea here, but I change the function. Where the graph of this function is above the x. Now, if we look at the solution of question number four, we have to rearrange the equation. It means we have to multiply seven x plus 42, etc. And then we simplify the equation like this. Minus x squared plus x. See, there is a here c0, a minus 1, b1, and c is 0. No problem. Let's find h. Minus b over 2a, it will be half. Put half in the function. Minus half squared plus half will be 1 over 4. So now the vertex will be half, 1 over 4. So that's here the vertex. And a is negative. See, minus, a is minus. And the standard form will be x minus h squared plus k. So now if we need to answer, the range will be from minus infinity until 1 over 4 closed. That's the range. Now we need x intercept. Put y 0 in this standard or in this or in this. Anywhere you can get 0, 0, 1, 0. Now where's the graph above the x? Here, above the x from 0 to 1 above the x. The maximum value, 1 over 4. The maximum value in the range. So we go to the range. Now question number 5. Find the equation of the parabola in standard form with vertex 1, 2 passes through the point minus 2, 5. So first we write the equation. See the standard form, we write f of x is equal a x minus h squared plus k. So a we have to find h is 1 and k is 2, given in the vertex 1 and 2. So the parabola passes through this point, minus 2, 5, then the coordinates satisfy the equation. So I can replace x by minus 2, y by 5 in the standard form to find a. So a will be 1 over 3. So I just write the equation of the parabola in standard form. 1 over 3, x minus 1 squared plus 2. Now, question number 6, we need to find the maximum value of this function, 1 plus x minus square root of 2, x squared. It's not difficult. This is already arranged. This is a, by the way, remember this is a minus square root of 2. b here is the 1. c also is 1. Now, if we look at the uh, question number 6 solution will be, this is already arranged, the function, the quadratic function. A will be minus square root of 2. B is 1 and C is 1. So find H minus B over 2A. Put the numbers there. And we need to rationalize. Multiply up and down by square root of 2. So H will be square root of 2 over 4. What do we need is the maximum. The maximum is equal to K. K is equal to F of H. So I take H square root of 2 over 4. I replace it in the function here. So 1 plus the x square root of 2 over 4 minus square root of 2, all this squared. So there is a 1 here, there is square root of 2 over 4. This becomes 2 over 16, 2 over 16, 1 over 8, and there is square root of 2 with the minus. Find the LCD 8, 
So it will be eight plus two square root of two minus square root of two is equal this one, eight plus square root of two over eight, that's the maximum. Now here, if we have x equals minus two is the axis of parabola of this function here. We need four parts, one, two, three, four. The important one is to write it in standard form. Then we can see the other. Now just notice here, we have two times f of x. We have to leave the function by itself. So we should divide by two here to leave f of x, which is y. So just rearrange it here f of x will be half x squared plus mx, if you divide by two, minus six. So that's a half, b is m, c is minus six. So let's find the vertex. h, given also the axis, x equals minus two. So it's given there. x equals minus two is the axis of parabola. So h will be minus b over two a minus m over two a is half. So it will be minus m. And we know now h is minus two. So minus two is equal minus m because they are equal. So m will be two. Now I have to find k. k will be f of the h. And the h is minus two also. So half minus two squared plus m is the two is the m here times the minus x two minus six. So when you add all this, you get minus eight. So now the vertex will be minus two minus eight. So that's the standard here. Standard form is here. F of X is equal A X minus H squared plus K. So it will be half X plus two squared minus eight. Now let's continue in the next slide. We need X intercept put Y zero, use the standard form. So it will be x plus two squared is equal 16. Take the square root of both sides. X will be two or minus six. So that's the x-intercept. The image of minus four, what does it mean? It means f of minus four. So I replace minus four in the function here. So minus four plus two, minus two squared, four, four over two is two minus eight is minus six. See the f of minus four here, minus six is there. Decreasing function, it's decreasing from minus infinity until here the vertex. So minus infinity to minus two. Now the last one, question number eight is so nice because we need to find the equation of the line. So just imagine there is a line here, but this line is passing through the vertex of this parabola and the center of this circle. So there's a lot of work here. So we take here the parabola, which is quadratic function, and we find the vertex. You know, this is already arranged minus B over two A, remember H always. So minus, minus B minus 12 over five divided by two A, two times three over five. So that will be two when you simplify it. K, f of two. So I put two in the function here. Three over five, two squared, minus 12 over five times two, minus three over five. The answer will be minus three. Please try to do these calculations. And then the vertex will be two and minus three. Now we complete the square on this circle. Remember we take the uh, coefficient of x, we divide by two, Square it, 25, add it on this side and the other side. So when you do the completing the square, you get x plus five squared plus y minus five squared is equal 50. Now we need only the center, which is minus five and five. Now in the next slide, I have the vertex, I have the center. We need the equation of the line. So we need the slope. Slope of these two points will be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, it will be minus eight over seven. Now the equation of the line, y minus y1 is equal m x minus x1. I know this question is so long. So I just take any point because both on the same line. So y minus five is equal minus eight over seven x plus five. Multiply by seven everything, rearrange it, you get the equation eight x plus seven y plus five is equal to zero. That's the equation that we need. Now here, just to remind you, all these are the answers. 
of the eight questions. For more examples, please, if you want to see more examples, you can see the video on algebra course lecture 34, quadratic functions. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can subscribe and share it, please, with your friends. I hope I can see you in another video with another topic. Thank you very much. Bye.